Welcome to the Young Filmmakers Project. I'm Jackson Pace. We're here in the TV studio of my school, Columbia River High School. Every high school and most middle schools have video production programs where students learn how to shoot and edit video, write scripts, build graphics, and do live shows. While they do all that, they're also building teamwork skills like communication, problem solving, and more. These programs are part of the district's career and technical education department. Today we have a whole bunch of great silent films. Silent films are a great way for students to learn about the key aspects of filmmaking. Our first movie we're going to watch today is from students right here at River. Take a look.
Joining me now are the filmmakers. Why don't you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Grant Fowler. I'm Theo Manu. I'm Jordan Ryan. And I'm Devin Safley. All right. Um, why did you guys decide to make this movie? So, uh, first of all, uh, we sort of viewed a collection of short, uh, of short silent films before making this. And we sort of just tried to implement as many of the tactics and techniques used in those short films in our short film. All right. Uh, did you guys have any inspirations when making this movie? Yeah, definitely. I think we had some inspirations from originally in the script. It was supposed to be very bird boxy. So that's kind of where the forest um, setting comes in. And then in the end, it kind of ended up like the fugitive with a touch of men in black. So I think it ended up pretty well in that in that regard. But the inspiration was great. Nice, nice. Um, how much planning went into this film? All right. Oh, okay. There was a lot of planning. Um, there was a lot of uh, rewrites and rewrites of the script as we you know, kept on changing, like, oh, what do we want the main character to do and how we want to ending. And I feel like really like our ending was like figuring out like which way we wanted it to end was like the biggest part of like rewriting the script. But I think like ultimately like that process has taught us a valuable experience about, you know, script planning and all that. And I think it turned out really well. How was the production of a silent film uh, different than one uh, of one with dialogue? Uh, so for our silent film, we had to make sure our shot selection was really on point. And also it's different because we had, we didn't have to worry about the audio. We didn't have to worry about dialogue and messing up lines. And I feel like that made it a little bit easier on us. Um, and last question, what do you guys, what do you guys enjoy about uh, taking video production classes? So the big thing I like about video production classes is uh, learning the Adobe Suite. It's interesting to like learn how you can use both like Photoshop, Premiere, and After Effects because I know like you know if someone who doesn't know that much about like, you know film or whatever, they wouldn't see how Photoshop could be used with Premiere and how you know After Effects and just the entire Adobe Suite integrate really well together. And I found that really fascinating how you can alter you know still images of video. In Photoshop, but still incorporated into like a moving film. Yeah. Uh, what I like about film is like the 100% the creative aspect of it. Uh, you get to express a lot of things, and there's generally very few limitations to what we can do. Uh, so we can just use like the creative suite, as Grant just said, to sort of express ourselves and what we're trying to portray. Somewhere along the lines of expressive uh, storytelling is really what I enjoy most about film is that you get to. Unlike a book, you get to demonstrate, you know, people's actions through how they say things and their emotions and their actions. And that's really cool. Uh, and to be able to do that successfully and learn how to do that and watch other people um, create movies and their process is very fascinating for me. Uh, I like the fact that we can be creative and express ourselves through video and also what Grant said of people not knowing what really can be used in video like Photoshop and Premiere. And I, I just like the fact that, I mean, yeah, we can express our creativity in many ways that not many people realize. Um, so Jordan, I hear um, you got injured, some, some stunts happened. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of stunts in the film. Um, well, they seem small, but there was a point where I had to tackle Grant multiple times, and in one of those takes that ended up making the film, I there was actually a branch broken in the ground that we couldn't see. So I tackled him, I fall backwards, and it hits me in the neck. So that was like painful for several days, but you do it for the film, and uh, it ended up working out fine. <laughs> There's also a part of the film where I have to like I jump over this hill and you see me I kind of I jump and I fall, and it was actually a big jump. And then another thing was is that like when you're doing stunts, like it's hard to like you know picture yourself like when you're working on it, but you kind of have to embrace the fact that you're gonna get messy. And I really wasn't prepared for that, so I was like really upset when I was covered in mud. But then I was just like, eh, yeah, whatever. I feel like that was really really significant what Grant just said. Like you have to not be afraid of getting messy. Like especially when I was like directing these guys and helping them. Uh, figure out their form and perfect like the stunt itself. Um, it, it sort of started out with like very sort of people not really wanting to do it, but after they got into the like flow of the film, they're like, all right, well, it's worth it for me to get a little dirty and maybe even get a little hurt uh, in order to make this film a reality. Um, what were your guys' uh, favorite scenes from your movie? 
So I really like the scene where you see Theo and Vanessa, the two cops, start walking away from the car, and Theo turns around and tells her to go, no, go back to the car, and she walks away angrily. <laughs> My favorite scene is when she embraces that anyway, and at the very end, our post credit scene or whatever, she's taking selfies and kind of doesn't really care about whatever happened to Theo. Yeah. Uh, so definitely one of my favorite scenes. <laughs> I'm just playing. Sorry, we're gonna have to cut that. Okay. Uh, wait, Grant, you want to go? Because I, I I just lost my train of thought. All right. My my favorite scene is where we see Theo running, and then he's constantly is using his phone to track the drone footage. Because I think that really adds to the action of the movie. It just flows perfectly, and I think that was you know really well executed. All right, and I definitely think my favorite scene is when Grant's duct taped to the chair. That was actually like just there. It was just sitting there in the forest. We didn't bring it along at all. We just found it, and we decided, hey, we're going to duct tape Grant to this chair, and I think it adds like a lot of dramatic elements and tension, so I, I really like that scene. Yeah. I made Theo sit in it to make sure there was no bugs in it, so yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Our next film is another silent film from here at River.
<laughs> nice job, guys. Our next two silent films come from the Vancouver School of Arts and Academics. Take a look.
Our final films today come from Jason Lee Middle School. They're a middle schooler, so they're just starting out their film education, and they're starting out simply by, by making some fake commercials. Before discovering the Be Gone button, my life was miserable. I had way too much homework. Now, whenever there's something I don't like, I can make it be gone. My children are using electronics way too much, but now with the be gone button, I can make that all go away. Buy the be gone button for $6.66 and the be back button for $10.99. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I'm Bob Ross, and today I'm gonna to be telling you about my favorite drink, Purple Cow Mellow. I'm a pretty mellow guy, and the way I stay so mellow is with Purple Cow Mellow flavor. So next time you need to be mellow, just remember, Purple Cow Mellow flavor. <laughs> I feel epic. Congratulations to the final three tributes of the 69th Annual Hunger Games. There will be a feast held at the 6th grade co-op at exactly 10 o'clock. Good luck and may the odds be ever in your favor. We are just about out of time, but remember that you can always see past episodes of the show on the District YouTube channel. That's youtube.com slash vansdtv. Just look for the Young Filmmakers playlist. Thanks for watching the Young Filmmakers Project. Until next time, I'm Jackson Pace.